originally um, I trained as a uh, car mechanic. So working in a garage, servicing, doing engine rebuilds. Before C-Star, um, I actually worked for the RAC. So going from the RAC to C-Star was a natural progression for me because it's the same job really, but on boats instead of cars. Best moments of this job is the summer. So when you can go to work in shorts and a t-shirt and get a suntan, um, that is the best part about the job. Everyone in those sort of situations, even if they're breaking down, um, are happy because they're in nice calm waters, it's a nice sunny day, they're having their lunch when we turn up and you can repair their boat, have a nice chat and a cup of tea and it's, uh, it's the best part about the job. The most challenging parts about the job um, are really trying to get to the bottom of some problems on boats that you really need to fix at the time because it's the difference between them carrying on on their holiday or having to get them back home um, and cut their holiday short. If you want to be a marine engineer um, it's a great job but really getting the um, experience first um, so even if you have to um, do dirty jobs um, for a marine company um, it's worth it in the end because when you first start they'll get you to do all the dirty jobs and you may think this isn't worth it but in the long run it is. A lot of engineering companies will take on apprenticeships um, but of course from a young age you can start developing your REA courses. If you want to be a marine engineer you need um, the qualifications to drive boats as well because it would be a big advantage if you do then apply for a marine apprenticeship if you already have um, say a level two powerboat qualification or any sailing qualifications or indeed you can do the diesel engine maintenance courses um, from the age of 16 I believe so having those in your back pocket when you go for an interview for a marine engineering um, apprenticeship or job um, will be to your advantage.